Hello everyone, welcome back to the controversial world of Final Fantasy 13 2. I am Matt for RMG and today we're going to be playing the DLC that came out last Tuesday, the Lightning and Amadar, however you want to say his name, uh, Coliseum Pack. And um, I have taken it on a few times. I have leveled up significantly since the end of the campaign playthrough, which will one day be up on our channel as of right now. The last two parts are on hiatus. Um, we'll be holding them for the near future. But I did beat the game, so that should be said. And uh, so let's walk straight up here to the Arbiter of Time and get things started, because we got a couple things to do this week. Yes, I do. Lightning and Ammo Dog. Come forth, brave protector of Valhalla, incarnation of Entro's champion. Cross the borders of impossibility and accept the challenge laid before you. Here we go, we're gonna fight Lightning and Ammo Dog. It shouldn't be too hard for me at this point, so hopefully I'll get things taken care of nice and easy and I can move on to other games. <laughs> it stopped playing the cutscenes. So yeah, sorry about that. No cutscenes for you guys today. But to summarize it basically, it's lightning telling me that I stand a chance, blah blah blah. They're not exactly any complicated cutscenes, so it's not that big of a deal. She is almost staggered here. And there it is. A few shots with this, and we will be going on to the here it comes already. with the Cubs, Sergeant Farron? All out of that lightning zap. Oh, right. that Gatling gun. Time to boost troop morale. Listen up, Farron. Your mission is to dominate this field of battle. <laughs> I want to hear that blade sing! And here comes Phase 2, also known as the end of the battle. And basically, I thought your best strategy, honestly, is to not go after lightning. You're banging your quest after her, uh, especially if you're lower leveled a bit, like how it was, and go after him. Because when you get to the last little part of the battle where it's only one of them, they do get a bit of a power boost, and uh, he's able to heal himself a lot in a different ways than lightning can. Like, he has that Caius similar thing where he can auto heal all the time. And they do do a good bit of damage together. They can, um, they are capable of healing each other and buffing each other. The only class, of, and they also can debuff you. They, he, uh, Amgar can do that. So, just a couple things to be on the lookout for when you're fighting these two. The hand grenade does a lot of damage. He's almost staggered here. And usually after you get done staggering him, he'll try to heal himself. Well, you know, he'll have lightning go to medic. Alright, we're gonna get a bit healed up here. No time. I'm actually about to have no choice but to heal real quick. Good enough. Yeah, they're trying to debuff me now. Over half his health's already gone. Lightning, you're so mean. It's your own sister. Now 
I'm trying to get a stagger belt back up. See, they're both healing now. He's gonna do potions. She's gonna do like Kiraja. Podcast. Almost staggered again. This is gonna do it, I think. Yep, here we go. We'll finish him off. As long as everyone continues to fight him, because like I see Noel trying to go after lightning over here. Come on, Noel. Ugh. He might survive because of Noel being retarded. Oh no, here we go, it's down to lightning. And um, they get special attacks when they're by themselves. Here comes hers. And they do a lot of damage. That's what our healer's out for. Uh, now I'll try and start doing damage to her. And as you can see, she's buffed herself a little bit here. Those are permanent buffs that happened when um, they got Amidar, so... Ow! Oops, wrong class. That'll work. We have Hyper Rescue. Okay. Here she goes again. She, also, she likes to do this when you get close to her stagger. It's kind of annoying. Here she comes. On my monster. She's probably dead. Nope, that's a bit surprising. Cerberus. I'm sorry, dealing major damage to her. And I think I might actually take her out during this if we all keep attacking her, so. Now we're coming really close though. Really close. Back to normal damage. Yep, we came really close, so. Now we're gonna finish it off real quick here. I'm trying to do one now. Their stagger is getting kind of full. But she doesn't get the chance. But yeah, she did. Damn, I thought it was over for a minute. You get it? She's almost beaten. See, look at that. Now she's over. It's over. 
And we got 5 stars and 2,000 CP, 4,500 gil. And I still have yet to capture them. They're, you can't capture both of them, but their rate's really low. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this, um, Batch of Final Fantasy 13 2 DLC. Once again, I say we will hope to get the ending to you guys out eventually, but Square Enix gave us a copyright strike. You can find out more details at the beginning of last week's podcast with episode 4, which you can listen to on iTunes. Thanks for joining us, and we'll head straight into our next project.